Okay, first part of the tutorial will concern the top deck. First thing before we start any work here is just want to test that the deck is level, which it is. So that's good. Always make sure we're starting with a level deck. Take off the rubber mat. The 45 adapter and the outer platter. Put these safely to the side. Now we can see the hub and the rubber drive belt. If we have a look at the drive belt, we can see it's very shiny so that's not going to get a good grip it feels a little saggy so we'll change the drive belt the part number required is belt 27 from our online catalog now that we've got the platter off we can look at the hub the hub uh, should rotate freely like it's doing this looks very good very encouraging we'll check the bearing put your fingers into the holes here it'll take there's a little bit of resistance as it pulls out and a satisfying little plop there as it comes out we can see here the bearing and the shaft is clean and lubricated looks very nice so that's not going to need any attention if it were dry or dirty it would need cleaning and the the shaft down the bottom would also need cleaning out with a cotton bud and uh, alcohol such as isopropanol or isopropyl alcohol uh, before it gets reassembled and a bit of light oil such as sewing machine oil uh, is all that's required just at the bottom end of the bearing there but this is fine this is very encouraging and it just settles down nicely it's got a nice turn so that's good Now that we've checked the main bearing of the, the, the hub, we can replace the drive belt with the new belt. It goes round the hub and then round the motor pulley. Make sure the belt goes through this little uh, feeder fork here. That moves up and down. Put the belt onto the lower part of the motor pulley for 33 rpm and up to the larger pulley for 45 rpm what we want to do next is to put the platter back on but upside down i'll show you why just need to take the camera down to a lower angle so with the new belt in place and the platter inverted we can now run the deck and check to see that the belt is not fouling on the motor pulley or the speed changer when it's having to drive normal torque conditions that's running nice and clear. Let's switch the speed down to 33. Now we can see that the speed changer has dropped into the correct position for 33 RPM, but the belt hasn't engaged properly. So that suggests that the motor azimuth is not correctly set, and that's what we'll look at next. So now we remove the platter again 
and we want to look at the mountings of the motor. I'm going to zoom in a wee bit here. There we go. Now you can see there's a, red, a screw here with red seal on it and a screw here on the left with red seal. These should both be turned fully clockwise and sealed. The other screw in between the motor and the hub is the adjuster and by turning this clockwise or anti-clockwise it adjusts the tilt of the motor and therefore the belt running angle. So typically this was backed off typically we want to start with this fully clockwise which should theoretically be level and we'll see how that runs now. Okay now we can turn on the deck and see it starts up okay at 33 the belt's not fouling we switch it up to 45 and it's still running clear and then back down to 33 as a final test so we can see there it's running nice and smooth and clear with no fouling this is what we want if the azimuth needs to be adjusted best to make it a half turn at a time but starting from the fully clockwise position. So now with the motor azimuth set correctly, I can remove the platter. And at this point, it would be a good idea to just reseal these three screws with a thread seal or nail varnish will do the job. Thanks for watching this tutorial. If you found it useful at all, please subscribe down below. If you have any comments, put them in the box underneath. Thank you and good luck with your own turntable.